Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Fraser, and this is Heartpoint. Welcome to another episode. Over the past several weeks, we have been taking a look at the theme, 10 Ways to Demonstrate His Heart and My Hands. Some of the ideas we've presented so far were, number one, to do a random act of kindness. Two, write a handwritten note of appreciation to someone uh, that you care about or someone that you need to thank. Number three was to celebrate a co-worker's birthday. And today's theme is to pray in secret for someone you know. Prayer should be part and parcel of the Christian's life. And so many times our prayer life can become routine and we maybe can become kind of selfish in our, our prayer life as we just think about the things that, that we need or want or are asking God for. But there are people around us that really need us to be praying for them. And wouldn't it be wonderful to consistently, day in, day out, be praying in secret for someone that we know could use our prayers? Maybe there's someone that's going through a prolonged illness or family struggles, or maybe they've uh, recently been uh, unemployed, lost their job. Whatever the situation is, if we could choose somebody in our sphere of influence, somebody that, that we know, and pray for them consistently, and then sit back and watch to see what God is doing in their life and how God is answering these prayers. What a great faith builder that could be for us and a great faith builder for them. And I wouldn't tell them that we're praying for them, but maybe just to wait for a while and ultimately see what happens in their life. Some verses in the Bible that speak about prayer include Romans 12, 12. This is a great verse. It says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. That's where a lot of us fall short in our consistency in prayer. Another verse I'd like to share is from Ephesians 1, 16 through 18. And we'll get my Bible and in this uh, verse, it says this, in Ephesians 1, 16 through 18. I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers that God, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? A beautiful text, Paul praying for the church in Ephesus and the members there, and he told them, in this case, that he was praying for them, that they would know Christ, that they would know the blessings of being in Christ. So for this week, the encouragement is, Pray in secret for someone that you know, and then watch and see as your faith grows and as their faith and their circumstance changes. God bless. Again, this is Dr. Ryan Fraser, and this has been another episode of Heartpoint. See you next time. Have a great week.